Okay. Was there an agreement reached to prevent the shutdown of construction projects? Well, we reiterated our support for having the capital bill go forward. Um, I think everyone's going to be talking to their caucus. It needs to go forward for a whole year. It is just not reasonable to suspend the capital projects for you know, half a billion dollars of unrelated spending. And we're willing to have that discussion. May or may not put votes on it, but the capital bill needs to go forward. So is that something that the, the president is not backing off of, that extra money? Well, you know, I think everyone has to discuss it with their caucuses. I would say that um, he probably will have the biggest job to do in terms of convincing his caucus, but there's not support for a six-month bill. Is there anything that's that because in January they would just go ahead and add the spending to the current fiscal year? Correct. We do not want to use the capital bill for leverage, and that's exactly what it's being used for. That's wrong. There was an agreement to do it. There's 52,000 jobs at state. We, we risk losing federal money if we don't go forward. There's road safety issues. There's additional costs to shut down and start up, up to $30 million that would just be wasted if we do that. So we need to get the capital bill rolling again. Any other discussions can be had either next week when we go back in the veto session or in January. There's so you plenty go back on of opportunity. Wednesday? Wednesday the 22nd. Right. Okay, and then uh, the speaker seems to believe that you don't really need to shut these projects down, that the interim spending authority runs through December 31st. Well, the governor did make a case for the fact that they do have to be shut down, at least any work that would be done after um, June 30th. So, but he's the one that, you know, makes that call, so his interpretation is key. Well, is it a phony crisis, as Senator Murphy has said, or is it a real crisis? I do believe it's a real crisis, that, that there is the potential to disrupt the road projects and, again, lay off a number of people, lose a lot of money. If but there's this not is support a, for additional spending and you come back next week, what is it that you expect lawmakers to do? Will it be sitting and staring at the wall again? I think let the capital bill go so that we're not holding it hostage. I mean, we've got to get people back to work. So is, is there you. even an agreement to do that yet? Not yet. 